guys today is Sunday the 7th of May time for another shape update on the way to summer shredding so this is my shape so I could again improve my shape the last week like I said I don't take it too fast that means I work with a good pace towards getting shredded for the summer but not too fast so that means I always make sure that I can train constantly so here consistency is the key don't overdo it and then you have like a setback unless you are working for a contest at something else because you have a given date and on this date you have to be in shape right so last week I started again my loading phase meaning that now for every week I try to improve in terms of weight so goal is to improve the performance for four weeks every workout getting better and the fifth week will be again a deload week. I will be working like that for now, maybe do some changes later. And in this video today, I will show you a special gift that I got last week. We'll unveil it together. And I will also show you what I do after an arm session or regularly that you should always combine normal, regular training with soft tissue training i always do that for every body part today it's time for tricep so yesterday i did my arms so we'll be working on the tricep and i'll show you how to do that Ta -da! style change just happened again on the way with bald hair so now let me show you my special gift that i just told you let's take a look at it so here we have the special gift this is it so check it out so let's open it and see what's in it. So guys, I'm getting more and more excited to see what's in it. So let's open it up together. So, J, 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 let's open it. Wow, nice nice watch here and here we have a second one so this is from the brand Yord and I'm really happy and proud to announce that I will be working with this brand for the future Yord watches so you can check it out on the internet Yord watches great watch and the special thing it's made out of wood here right so this is very particular and kind of like unique and I like to be unique whatever I do and also wear unique clothes and also watches and yeah this is uh, fits really well into my lifestyle let's check out the other one here nice so now we'll wear one of those and show you how it looks on my arm let's take this one here so this is it now I have it on my arm looks great right yeah I'm really happy about this announcement today to be working with Yord love the watch yes so now I'm wearing the Yord watch looks great I really like the watch it's made out of real wood so this is kind of unique about this watch so today I want to talk about two things first let's start with what I just said about the soft tissue work that you should be doing and I use this thing here so long time ago I had a bit tight muscles so I was uh, going to a massage and the guy that was doing the massage back then gave me this tool here and this is really great we all know the black roll to work on the soft tissue but this thing here is even better it's made out of wood and if you like want to work on the triceps tendon you just go like that right so now I'm working on it with the bigger and larger surface right and when you have a tight spot you just remain on it and push against it and remain until the tight area is released of tightness right and then you can also take this side here and work a bit on a smaller surface right and again work on the tight points until they are released next up I'll also show you how it works with the black roll yes and this is 
the black room, right? This works a bit different. Um, it works on a larger area and this one is really good because you can use it against the wall. So basically if this was the wall here, you just put it behind here, right? And then start pressuring against the wall. So push as hard as you can, right? And then start working on the tightness of the triceps tendon until you feel a relief. So basically how I do that, I do it the upcoming day after a workout. You can also do it right after workout, but I first want to like, you know, recover well and the next day I work on the soft tissue. But like I said, you can do it the way you want it, right? Another topic that I want to talk in this video is about lifting with heavy weights. I've seen many people in the last 10 years lifting heavy and believe me, only maximum 5% of those people were able to train with a good form. And here comes the thing, it's very difficult to train heavy and still keep a good form. And there's really no way around it of taking away the stress from your joints, ligaments and tendons. Physically not possible when you train heavy, even if you have a good form. Fact is, you will have more tension on the joint. And this works all well when you're in your 20s, maybe 30s, but when you're 40, your body will remember what you did to him the past 20 years and the answer to that will, won't be a good one, right? Remember what I said on this channel, you will always hear the truth, positive, negative. And my message here goes to the young generation because I really care about the young people out there. Because they see a lot of people that have more training experience and they see also a lot of shit going on. Especially when you look into the social medias, you know, YouTube and so on, you only see one thing. People try to impress by lifting heavy. But like I said, try to look behind the camera, have a bigger picture, see what's going on. There's also like a marketing reason why those people train with heavy weights, you know. So always think sustainable. You want to be healthy and lifting weights when you're above 60 and not stopping after your 50s, right? So always compromise, you know, that means lift with good intensity and a good tension in the muscle, not in the joints, right? And that's the key. It was always the way I succeeded the last 10 years. That's the way I landed my nine international magazine covers and never cared about the weights more about the tension in my muscles because I was always thinking, okay, when I lift heavy, might have a lot of tension in my muscle, but also a lot of tension on my joints. And if I want to be a professional fitness model and I want it to be for more than 10 years or even more, I need to also take care of the passive structures. That means my tendons, ligaments and joints, right? And that's the key for you. You should be always thinking for later, whatever you do, when it's about your career, when it's about your training, family planning, it's always the future that matters, not now. So to summarize, it's all about planning and thinking long-term and sustainable when it comes to working out. Don't just like have one workout where you have an outperformance and then the next workout you have an underperformance and later on you have an injury. Don't do that. That's the message here that I want to bring out for you. So make sure to stay connected here on YouTube. The next video will be directly from The Body Power in Birmingham. I will be there for my supplement sponsor USN this Friday 12th of May until Sunday 14th of May. I will be pleased to see you there guys and talk to you in person. I'm out for today. Make sure to give the thumbs up. Like I said, you can also give thumbs down if you didn't like the video, but I hope you really liked it and also share it in between your friends. I'm out for today. Bye Still on the way to summer shredding. Stay tuned for the next update. I could again improve my shape, so stay tuned. So what do you want to talk about today? It's about vegan people that pretend that all the gains 